let's check out the brand new release by mastering the mix i love mastering the mix plugins uh, most of their plugins are based on or powered by artificial intelligence that uh, do a lot of the groundwork for you uh, right right from the get-go and therefore they leave you the sounds very very much uh ready right so this plugin is no exception and this is an uh, automatic automatic dynamic processor that will control conflicting frequencies between two sources for instance the kick drum with the bass or for instance the vocals with some distorted guitars or the vocals with piano synthesizers or stuff like that so it will resolve conflicts uh, frequency wise right so it will carve out space uh, dynamically in real time and also it will um, avoid the comp conflict of two sources with the use of phase rotation right i'm going to explain that also in an example here is the control for the phase rotation from minus 180 to plus 180 right and also it avoids uh, the conflict conflicts of frequencies with a volume of course right so frequency wise um phase rotation and also a volume right so let's start by uh, setting up the plugin you need to sidechain a couple of audio sources right to put them together in sidechain so that the the plugin will listen to the other uh, audio source right and it will carve out space this is like an alternative to to tracks uh what's the name of the um, track spacer right um it's an amazing plugin but this plugin does more than the other so i think it in a man in a matter it's uh, it's better than track spacer right and so it works in in that sense but it has more more cool options i think more control so for instance uh i have here a an instrumental track and the vocal track the vocal isolated and the instrumental track right without the, the vocals so i'm gonna side chain it and here in reaper is very simple you can find out on your daw uh, how to do that but i just send this route to the track right and i'm gonna put here another um, output here instead of one two three four because if i put one one two uh, they will both be combined and i want them separated right the the vocal and the instrumental track all right so the way to do it is that you send the the source that is the lead uh source that you want you want that source to lead right and the other is the submissive track right and for instance i sent the vocal to the track and i'm gonna put the plugin in the track not in the vocal right so therefore the plugin will listen to the vocal sound and it will carve out space it will resolve conflicts with this uh, uh thing that we have that we have in the plugin right one of the main features of the plugin so once that you do that and you have i have here the plugin in the instrumental track you will see here in white this is the the vocal signal and all of the gray area black gray area is the track right and here in red is putting the conflicting frequencies in real time dynamically right and you have uh, if you put resolve conflicts the plugin automatically will do the job for you it will create create some notes here uh, notes uh, that will start to um, avoid these uh, this conflict between the two sources and will start to dynamically reduce uh, in space in one source 
uh, in order for the other track to live in better, right? In this case, the vocal will live better with the instrumental track, right? You have also mid-side processing here. You have uh, Q, you have attack and release. You have a blend knob as well and output. And also you can listen with this Delta mode. You can listen only to the conflict, the conflicting frequencies between the two of them, right? And I'm going to give you a tip on that. And also here in the input, it will set uh, the this uh, mm, triangle in white, small triangle in white that you have here. If you want to uh, put the volume of the the input track, in this case the vocal, for instance, uh, you can set it following that uh, triangle, right? And also this plugin has a very cool option here to gain stage. So if you put the the amount of decibels that you have on each track on the faders, the plugin will gain stage, uh, will set the levels uh, properly as well, all right? And uh, in terms of volume, right? So uh, in other example, we're going to check out the rotate option, right? But in this case, we're going to check out the resolve conflicts uh, option, right? So I'm going to unmute this and let's take a listen to the tracks. Right, so let's engage the fuser plugin in the instrumental track. It's listening already. The vocals in white. Let's click resolve conflicts. And you can see here all of the the reduction. You have this band here. You can broaden or you can widen or make it narrower with your mouse wheel like that. You can create more knots like that, right? You can solo it as well. It might be subtle, but if you start to use it in different uh, tracks, you you will start to notice more clarity in your mix uh, without the need of uh, too much equalization, for instance. So let's take a listen only to the the conflicting frequencies here. I feel it taking over. I feel it in my bones. This kills me. Everything it's necessary. So you see, uh, you hear a bit of the instrumental here being reduced. I feel it taking over. I feel it. Some of that is being reduced a bit when the vocals are uh, are conflicting with the instrumental. I feel it taking over. Before You can like uh, put here the input. You can like put the volume if you want to increase or decrease the volume of this track, the instrumental track. Right, that's one example, and also uh, you can of course use mid side 
attack and release for more uh, control here. Lower attack. Skills mean everything faster. It's Will react quicker, right? The dynamic processor. I feel it taking over. I feel in this case, it's putting in red the conflicting frequencies which are in the center, but when our, um, some frequencies are conflicting that are in the sides, uh, it's gonna put in yellow, so red and yellow. In this case, only in the center, the frequencies are conflicting. All right, so let's move on with another example here. I have a bass that is conflicting a lot with the piano, or vice versa, the piano is conflicting a lot with the bass. So I sent, I put the um, bass here, side chain with the piano, and I am putting the uh, fuser here on the piano and let's check it out I already uh, put the resolve conflicts feature here these are the frequencies right in white the bass in gray the piano So that's what's reducing in the piano. Before, you can of course reduce this. And one pro tip that I saw is that you can set in solo like that, like in delta mode, the release to be like more in tempo. a faster for instance so they they are more uh, rhythmic right and the dynamic processing is more like in tempo with the song right and finally let's check out the other way that this plugin also avoids uh, conflicting frequencies and a better use of the face uh, automatic face flip uh, face rotation that it has right so for instance I have two kick drums here one is low kick the other is high kick so I uh, on purpose I uh, changed a bit the fa the face of one of the tracks and it's not uh, the sound it's not coming across as it should be a uh, folder with more bottom end so the f the phase cancellation that it's happening between them it's uh, it's canceling some frequencies out right so I'm gonna uh, send uh, by side chain as well one track to the other the kick out to the kick in for instance i have the plugin here the fuser and right th these are the conflicting frequencies but i'm not trying to resolve conflicts in frequencies i'm just trying to uh, set them in phase automatically this plugin does it also in real time pretty cool this uh, control that you have here you just click it and it analyzes the audio and it flips or rotate the face of um, the track in order for them to put them correctly. You click, put it's uh, orange, it starts to blink like that. Right? like 133 um, to the right positive it uh, flipped uh, the face not 180 not entirely so 133 right 
listen to the sound. It has the bottom end of the lower kick drum without it. Right? Suddenly the bottom end uh, came back. Pretty cool. It does it automatically. Uh, very precise and you can use it in many ways like for instance uh, two guitar tracks to that are out of phase maybe a stereo uh, room mics that are out of phase with the snare or something um, many many cool ways especially when you uh, have multi miking techniques <laughs> 